Hey guys, what's going on? Rob416 here from HookahPro.com. I'm here with another Shisha review for you guys today. I have Hookah Hookah Vanilla here. Um, this is actually my first time smoking it, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I mean, everyone shows you, but I had to show you this. Hookah Hookah Normal Cut, clumped up, went broken. Fine, like cigarette tobacco, but look how big that is. That's that's a pretty big clump. I figured I'd show you guys. This is compared to other hookah hookahs I smoked, other flavors. Um, this is a little bit more wet, like on the inside. If you break the clump, I don't know if you guys could see, but if the glare is bouncing off the light, it's kind of moist. You could see it kind of reflecting off from the light. A little but yeah that's the cut smell it doesn't smell like vanilla at all kind of reminds me of dried play-doh that's what it smells like to me and I'm gonna stick with that no other comment on it, it smells like dried play-doh um, let's see how it smokes Eh. Cloud's not bad. Um, it is a little bit more smoother, and the clouds are a little bit more fuller from when I usually smoke hookah hookah, because I actually just looked up, um, it was actually PC Serves video on how to prepare it with the whole ring thing. I didn't do the ring. But I did notice how much tobacco he actually put in the bowl. It was barely anything. So I tried that out. I put barely any tobacco in the bowl. Like one of those little bowls, I broke it up as much as I kind of put that in. And that was it. And I'm getting the best clouds so far that I've ever gotten out of hookah hookah. So, I mean, his theory works. I guess maybe if I put the ring, give a little more elevation with the coals. I could maybe put a little more shisha to make the session last a little longer, but it's no big deal. I could always just toss more in the bowl. Yeah, clouds are much thicker, much uh, fuller than they usually are, and smoother. It's not, sometimes it like kills my throat, and I'm not getting a burn taste at all. On to taste. Um, it's it's a taste that creeps up on you. It's there and then it's not there. Um, like right now, I could taste it a tiny bit of my tongue. Some pulls you could taste it. Some pulls you you taste vanilla. It tastes like if if you get the taste, it's a creeping taste. If it gets you, it tastes like vanilla ash, uh, extract it tastes really good or like one of those white chocolates it tastes good like right there I got it they tasted like vanilla extract it's really good um, again I'm not the best with hookah hookah I gotta still play around and get it right to get the full flavor out of it but it's really not bad at all, and I mean, I mean, it's not like the best flavor to smoke alone. It's just vanilla. It's like a bland, like it's vanilla. It's not like exciting, but it would definitely go good. I'm a fan of like coffee flavors, like cappuccino, espresso, stuff like that. I think this would go really good as a mixer with. Um, I'm a fan of um, Alfaker cappuccino. I think this would go good, like a little creamy vanilla taste to it. I think it would be nice. But um, yeah, that's uh, hookah hookah vanilla. I'm gonna rate this. S 
7 out of 10. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It's a good flavor, but again, I'm not getting the full flavor all the time. It creeps up on you and then it goes away. But if the flavor was there all the time, I'd probably give it a 9. Um, I do recommend it. If you do like coffee flavors, I'm going to try it maybe later on or another day. I'm definitely going to mix it with the coffee flavor. Probably cappuccino, see how that is. Maybe I'll do a review of it for you guys. But uh, yeah, I do recommend it if you're a fan of vanilla. It tastes like vanilla extract. It's good. So 7 out of 10, good flavor. Rob416 here from hookahpro.com. Check out Hookah Pro. Good site. A lot of good people out there. Good info, willing to help you. So get on Hookah Pro. Check it out. I hope to hear you hear from you all on the forums. Talk to you all soon. Peace out, guys. Keep smoking.